Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be looking at how you can manage summoned animals, familiars, and much more using just a few modules. The main one that makes this possible is Automated Evocations Companion Manager. However, some of the tokens I'll be using today come from the JV2A Patreon collection. There is a free version as well. After you have installed the modules, you can go ahead and start the process of setting up your spells. I'll be showing off how to set up the Spiritual Weapon spell first. Since I'm using the JB2A Patreon collection, I have a wide array of spiritual weapon tokens, or actors I should say, that I can choose from. I'm going to go ahead and import one of them right now, the Spiritual Weapon Maul. And then after I have it here, the next thing I want to do is just rename it to Spiritual Weapon. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take the Spiritual Weapon spell from the spells SRD in the Compendium, put it onto the Spiritual Weapon actor, and I want to make these statistics match up with the statistics of the token, or I should say the character, that is going to be casting the spell. So we have everything is going to match right now. So as you can see, I've adjusted the statistics of the spiritual weapon to match those of the caster that's going to be using it, as well as added some spell slots so that we can actually make use of the weapon down here for the damage. However, if you are using the MIDI SRD spells compendium, it's actually much easier, you don't have to worry about spell slots, if you just put it on your character, cast the spell, and then we're going to go back to our inventory, take this summon spiritual weapon, and put it on the actor. Now I can just use this to make the attacks. Finally, we can open up a character sheet, go to companions, and drag the spiritual weapon actor onto the companion manager. Now, as a note, I have edited my Spiritual Weapon spell to have no damage as well as no measure template. I'm just using this to keep track of spell slots and to actually summon the actor onto the field. So when I cast it, it's going to use a spell slot, allow me to create the token here. And I can close it out. Now, I believe this solution works very well, but in the event that you have two characters in your game that are both using Spiritual Weapon, you may run into some problems. In that case, you can go to the Companion Manager directly and cast the spell from here, and just keep track of the spell slots. And of course, once the Spiritual Weapon is on the field, you can go ahead and make attacks directly from it. And you can dismiss it as needed. Lastly, we'll take a look at the Conjuration spells, such as Conjure Animals or Conjure Woodland Beings. Thankfully, this module makes it incredibly easy because it recognizes the CR of the creature you want to summon. So again, you go to the character sheet, go to Companions, and drag whatever it is you want to summon onto the character sheet, or the Companion Manager, I should say. And then after, just go to the spell and cast it. The Companion Manager will pop up, and as you can see, it has the number next to the creature, so I'll summon two giant eagles right here, using an ice animation. And then close it all out. It works the same way for the Conjure Woodland Beings. Cast a spell, and then if the creature is on your Companion Manager, you can go ahead and summon the appropriate number anywhere on the map. Hopefully this video has been helpful. I know it has been a very long time since I've released a new video. I hope to be changing that soon, as well as I'll be posting a community update explaining what exactly has been going on. Thank you all for listening, and I hope you have a wonderful day.